Hello and welcome to the Draft League Battle video. Today is week 5 of APA Clash of Season 16 against Darkrai and his Dark Cave. Darkrai is uh, part of the Misfits, first Misfits opponent. Um, and this matchup is, is kind of garbage. Um, <laughs> this team is very scary. Uh, Mega DNC, I have no Mega DNC resist. Um, period. Uh, Rodan Wash, I don't deal with it. I also don't have a Rodan Wash resist, to be honest. Um, Gliscor, I have very little that can actually break Gliscor. <laughs> and it's gonna be really annoying to deal with. Um, Bronzong is not good this matchup, I deal with it quite easily. I have too much to actually beat it. Drapion is kinda scary, especially if it's sea spikes, uh, because then I'm forced to defog them away. And uh, it, I also don't switch into it very well. Talonflame is a Cartana check, and I, I'm scared of it so much. I, I'm so scared of Talonflame as a, as a Cartana check. Besides Cartana check, it doesn't really do too much. <laughs> but I do have a physical wincon that might not go that well if I get burned. But also, I could actually. But it, it, it's fine if I get burned, honestly. Um. Heracross, I don't have a switch in. If it's Sword Sense, I, I, I get broken by it so easily. Um, Mega, not Mega Zam, regular Zam, uh, almost as bad as Mega Zam when I faced it, but it's slightly easier to handle. Um, I don't, I don't have a good switch in besides uh, Skun Tank, and yeah, I'm not bringing Skun Tank. Um, so that thing's scary. Lucky Lucky, it, it, it can be very annoying to deal with defensively. So I'll just have like, but it is kind of bad. So I'll have to see how I deal with that. Um, and yeah, it, it's quite scary. Um, Quilladin can be annoying with spikes, and uh, being like if you lie defensive, could definitely be annoying. But it's not the biggest issue. Like I don't actually expect it because it loses to too much of my of my team. Uh, and Trapinch has an God awful matchup. Like Trapinch doesn't beat Manif, Trapinch doesn't beat Cartana, Trapinch doesn't even trap Rotom, he doesn't really beat Gudra, uh, doesn't beat Primate, doesn't beat Palace and beats Skun Tank, I guess. Uh, doesn't doesn't really beat uh Slot Buff. Um, doesn't beat doesn't even trap the last three of my team. Yuxi, Mega Page, and Articuna don't even get trapped, so Trapinch is not that good. Um, yeah, so going into my game, can I like, uh, like so. Bam. Wait, no, I don't, that's why EVs go. Uh, I'll put like up on top of me. Does this work? Yeah, this this works. Shut up, Java. Uh, yeah, this, this is fine. Okay, there it is. Um, first of all, I have Gudra with Roselli Berry and Gooey. Uh, max HP, enough speed to outspeed. I think Adam and Heracross, maybe. Wait, no, this this probably doesn't outspeed. Adam. Uh, what's this creep? I think it's like very little speed Drapion slash Gliscor. That's the, that's the speed I think. Also I'm recording this like two days after the actual game instead of like a week after the actual game. So I actually remember the calcs now. So that's that's important. I actually know what my EVs are for. Um, enough speed to outfeed Gliscor if it's very little infested. Uh, Max HP, the rest in attack to do as much damage as you can. Uh, I probably could have made this EV spread better, but I was just kind of lazy. Um, so yeah, um, Power Whip. This used Power Whip used to be Iron Tail for the Mega DNC, but Iron Tail is 75% accurate and Power Whip is 85% accurate. So I opted for Power Whip over Iron Tail, hit the Road and Wash as well. But considering this is my only Road and Wash, Resist and it's weak, it gets easily burned. That's not that uh, great. Um, Ice Beam 
beat Gliscor, even if I'm not special offense specially offensive at all, still beats Gliscor. Uh, Earthquake deals with the uh, Drapion, deals with the... Uh... Wait, why do I even have Earthquake? <laughs> why do I have Earthquake? Uh, it deals with Drapion. Also, okay, I don't expect... Uh, if Bronzong comes, it's definitely gonna be heatproof. That make, it just makes too much sense to be to be level day. So if it brings Bronzong, I can Earthquake that probably. Um, and Outrage is actually like I could have just gone, gone with Draco Meteor or something like that. But Outrage, if I get Outrage on anything, and Mega Diancy is alive, if he can resist going hard into Mega Diancy after I click Outrage, like huge props to you because I'm trying to bait you into going Mega Diancy. Because I absolutely, I guarantee if anything, Play Rough would usually kill me from full, but because of the berry, I don't die. Um, and I can click Power Whip for a ton of damage on Mega DNC. And really, that's just worth it, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's Gudra. Also, I'm going from the right to the left because my left sets are definitely the best set. Uh, Rotom Heat, um, Defog, Nasty Plot, Overheat, Volt Switch. Um, Defog, I need Defog for rocks, for C spikes, screens, every anything you can go for. I need, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it at all. But he could go back at the NC on a Defog, so he could keep up screens if he wants to. Um, Charlie for Diamond Storm from the NC. Uh, Nasty Plot Volt Switch is actually just quite a bit to it. Uh, because investment. This is the same speed set as Gudra. Uh, so I also have to be very little invested uh, split score and the rest in defense no particular reason uh, this is kind of my Heracross check my channel flame check uh, it can ch check list score if it has to uh, check Bronzong uh, yeah that's that's pretty much its job uh, and it can weaken Mega DNC and yeah, that's also kind of its job um, yeah, that's Rotom Heat, Defogger, uh, breaks some of some relevant mons. Then I have Mega Pidgeot, which is very important because the speed set outspeeds uh, Alakazam. Enough speed to outspeed the Alakazam because I can't risk not outspeeding that. Um, almost max special attack. I am minus Pidef because I don't foresee myself taking any special hit at all. If I take a Moonblast, I probably drop anyway. Uh, if I take a Volt Switch, I probably drop anyway. Uh, Sam, I'm supposed to U-turn on that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm not getting any special hits at all. Uh, so I can be minus for death, so I can be plus attack, like not plus attack, but like some attack investment to kill Mega DNC from full at plus one with Steel Wing, assuming I hit. But if I hit at plus one with Steel Wing, that thing drops from full, um, and r rest just doesn't deal with hurricane well like even plus one hurricane kind of does a ton to road and wash um and really that's that's the point pretty much um and u turn for momentum does good damage on sam especially with the uh, attack investment um so yeah uh then we have sort of bandit weedle uh belly drum play rough drain punch facade just a standard belly drum set um this thing just clicks belly drum, takes citrus berry. If I get burned, I get salt boosted. Boost for salt is more than play rough before the burn, so I really don't care if I get burned. Uh, Bronzong is the only check to this, and its matchup is not great, so it might not even come. And the rest just honestly drops to facade. Like, even Mega the NC drops to facade, so this thing's matchup is actually pretty good. Uh, but I just had, like, if I get, can keep momentum, then my matchup is actually not awful. But if I lose momentum even a little bit, I just lose. I, just, I it just goes out of control in, immediately. Um, and I, I honestly, then at this point, at that point, I just struggle to break. Like if he plays this game defensively, he, he's giving me opportunities to win. Uh, and that's pretty much the the game plan. <laughs> Hoping my opponent plays in a way that allows me to win. Um, and then, then that, that's this set. Um, th this is this is set. This is a set. Um, Giga Drain, Shore Up, Skill Swap, Toxic Balasand with leftovers. This set has a reason for everything. Um, 
max HP, almost max bedef, uh, a calm nature. Um, these EVs allow me to never get to a kill by Mega DNC, period. Max attack, adamant, wait, no, not adamant. Max attack, play rough, does at most 49%. Max special attack, moonblast, does at most 49%. I live guaranteed to hit. If rocks are up, I need leftovers of recovery to not get to it KO'd. Um, Giga Drain over, or over ground move because first of all, Rodan Wash. Second of all, Magnet Rise from Mega Deancy. It's not likely, but it's definitely possible. So I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna ignore that possibility because if I do, that might just literally lose me the game. Um, so yeah. I don't want to do that. Shore up for recovery. Skill swap is it, skill swap is interesting. Um, this thing it gets usually easily checked by like uh, Gliscor because I have toxic, toxic. I can toxic everything except Gliscor, uh, Drapion, and Bronzong, right? Because Gliscor is poison heal. But if I skill swap poison heal and he toxics me, I get the recovery and you get the damage, and that's that's exactly what I want. Then you can't break me anymore. Then I, I break you, and that's hilarious. And that's what we're going for. Um, and toxic just to wear things down. It can toxic pretty much anything. Uh, oh, oh, I also forgot like Zam has magic card, so toxic is completely useless against him. But regardless, what's the odds that 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 I'm gonna make that mistake? One hundred percent. Um, so yeah. And then we have uh, Manaphy, which is the second wind con. Substitute Tail Glow Surf Energy Ball with Salic Berry. Uh, these EVs are interesting. Um, I have a reason for every single EV I have invested here. Um, the speed is enough to outspeed Adamant Heracross if it's scarfed at plus one speed, or like if it's not scarfed normally. Um, the, the HP, defense, and speed death means I my substitute does not break against non, not invested earthquakes from Gliscor, not invested uh, anything from Bronzong, not invested anything from Drapion, not invested anything from Licky Licky. Uh, my sub does have a chance to break from uh, Talonflame's uninvested Brave Bird, but it's a roll, I think. So. I can just keep subbing until it works in my favor, um, and I just needed to live any like one hit, click tail glow, and then I'm fine. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's the thing. That's this uh, mon. If I get this thing at plus three and at plus one speed, I might just instantly win. Uh, and that's that's the game plan. Either win with Torpuff or win with uh, Manaphy. And yeah, uh, let's go into the battle. Bam. Bam. There we go. Um, so my opponent decided to bring the Mega DNC. Can I do this? Not really. Uh, so my opponent brought Mega DNC, Alakazam, Gliscor, uh, Licky Licky, Rodan Wash, and Talonflame. Not too surprising. No Bronzong, which is important. No Drapion, which is important. No. Uh, Heracross, which is important, but everything else that I feared did come. Um, so yeah, I'm not too surprised. Uh, I just decided to lead with my Gudra because there's literally nothing I like. Okay, Licky Licky would be the worst thing to lead off against because that thing kind of checks me, but that it's it's all right. I can I can deal with Licky Licky. Um, so I lead Gudra. If it leaves Talonflame, I could just click Outrage turn 1. Uh, goes for the U-turn. It made sense. Rodan was too free of a switch. Like, you're, you're not clicking Bra Brave for turn 1. If you did, I'm clicking Outrage against you and you're, like, maybe dropping. I'm not sure. Actually, no, your fist stuff, I wouldn't drop. But he goes into uh, the Licky Licky on my Outrage, which actually just does absolutely nothing. Just like 40%. Um, but he does go into the DNC, which he absolutely had no... He didn't have to go into the DNC at all. But it's just too tempting to go into the DNC. And this is exactly what I want. 
He goes for the Moonblast, so he is not entirely physical. And I go for the Power Whip, which thankfully lands in this 92%. And that's honestly, Gudra's job is done. It did what it had to do, and it did it well. And yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, all, that, that's all that it had to do. Um, bait the DNC and do a ton of damage to it. If I had Iron Tail, then I would have had a higher chance to miss, but I would have killed. Uh, I'm not gonna even consider <laughs> what would have happened <laughs> if I missed the Iron Tail. So I, I'm happy I hit the power one. Um, wait, no. And I just let it go down because I don't have a switch to do it. But I did Galk and Udron is able to kill the Mega DNC. Uh, so I Mega Evolve and go for the Udron on the Rotom Wash. And then here I go into my Palace Hand because. Uh, why did I. Why did. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I don't ever resist to this thing. Okay. So <laughs> I went into the Palace Hand to Toxic it. Um, and here is interesting play. Do you Hydro Pump again? Because I could go, it, I could go into man, I could go switch this out. But what do you lose by hydro pumping again? Absolutely nothing. He didn't hydro pump again. Why do people not play well against my palace? And I don't get it. Just attack my palace, and it's gonna die. But people don't, and that's like why I don't get it. Okay, but <laughs> now I have plus two defense, which doesn't really matter. Uh, go for for the toxic as I go for the giga drain doesn't really matter, I, he knows I can't really touch it at all, um, at least he thinks I can't really touch it at all. He goes for the substitute, and here we go for the skill swap. I didn't know that skill swap worked through substitute, apparently it does. And now, I have poison heal. <laughs> now, I'm a palestine with poison heal, um, and I, now, now I just click buttons, because there's nothing that really can... Uh, deal with it. I miss Toxic, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Goes in the Rotom Wash as I Toxic again, doesn't really matter. Um, here goes for the Hex, which actually doesn't do anything. And this this turn actually is huge because I proc the Rindo. Like I was kind of like in my in the back of my head, I was like this thing can easily be Rindo because Manaphy just completely destroys him or matchup, but. He was Rindo, and now it's broken because I run Giga Drain on my Palace and it's only move. So it came through. Giga Drain. This is the best set ever. Um, here goes into Zam. I wasn't thinking, so I go for Toxic. Um, I should go for a nasty plot. I don't know why I went for Toxic. This thing is obviously Magic Guard. But I just go sack my Rotom Heat. I don't know why you're not clicking Psychic, but. I want for full switch because there's literally no reason not to. Um, and I just go hard into Palace Hand again. I go for the substitute. He's never staying in here. He knows I'm going to click skill swap, but I'm not actually going to get like, skill swap. I'm going to click Giga Drain. Um, skill swap wouldn't even have been a bad move either. Like if I get Magic Guard, you get the uh, Water Compaction, who gives it, who gives a damn. Um, so yeah. Then they would take toxic damage, that's fine too, in my opinion. Uh, go into my uh, pitch up because I probably live any hit. Uh, oh wait, I was, I was minus Pidev. If he wants for Psyche, I probably drop. But I didn't need pitch pay up, like pitch up wasn't the win con. But he went for Shadow Ball. Also, he went for a uh, Dazzling Gleam before, that would not have killed, so. Uh, I don't know what his last move was, but I just go for U turn. And uh, this is where I'm like, maybe Manaphy can just win here. So uh, let's try to set up Manaphy. I go for the substitute. Go for Dragon Tail. Um, if he has a si if he has Slicing Salt and he if he went for it, then this would strategy would have been like if he didn't uh, uh, give away Dragon Tail and if he had Slicing Salt and Dragon Tail and he went for Slicing Salt first, then I would have been in an interesting situation. Like I I, I could set up this this thing later. That doesn't really bother too much to bother me too much, but. Yeah, um, if you had Seismic Toss, that would have been a good play, because I know I don't live Seismic Toss, because I don't have max HP, but I I was, I was went into the game with like, fine, I, uh, like, it's fine if I don't have enough HP to live, make my subs live Seismic Toss, uh, it doesn't really matter too much, at least I thought, uh, so you just reveal Seismic Toss, uh, unfortunately, but I do get my free, uh, 
a steel glove and now I'm just gonna substitute and here I'm like I could substitute or I could surf because okay substitute like okay from his perspective if he pro if he goes for the dragon tail and I sub again because I'm like in content going for keep going for substitute um if he goes for dragon tail on my substitute I just click tail glow again and I win instantly like there's nothing you can do about it really um so if but if he goes for seismic dots from my perspective I do a KO him now so but he doesn't know I'm Selec so for him seismic dots is pr pr pretty much the safest play because he still has like things that outspeed he just can't let me set up too much um Seismic Toss is the better play, so he goes through Seismic Toss, triggers my Salic Berry, and at this point it's GG. <laughs> like at this point, Manaphy just clicks, clicks button. Uh, energy Ball, serve, 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 serve. Manaphy just, Manaphy just got 6 kills. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> GG to my opponent, Manaphy just had an insanely good matchup, even though you had like a lot of things that are good matchups, and, matchups against me. This, this mana if he said is really good, the uh, palace and set was really good, even Surp in the, in the back could have won, like, like, I just think my prep was very creative and very good, uh, my opponent played well, um, but he played a little, a little too passive uh, to give my me op opportunities to set up and win, um, and really in the end I think that's the, the biggest mistake he, will, he made during this game. Um, so yeah, good game to Darkrai, uh, next week I am against, uh, Owen, I think, uh, another goon, I can, f I can finally play another goon, goon's chip, but yeah, see y'all next week, hopefully, goodbye.